Here are five things that often happen when God is highlighting someone that he wants you to be with. And if you haven't heard, I wanted to quickly mention that enrollment for AGW University just opened and will close in one week on Tuesday, March 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. AGW University is where I offer in-depth biblical training for Christian singles who want to be married one day. If you are interested in learning more, feel free to click the link in the description below. Number one. When God is highlighting someone he wants you to date, your paths will often keep crossing to give you opportunities to connect. Certainly, God has put people together who met each other online or started dating through a long-distance relationship. But more often than not, when God is leading you to date someone, he will allow your paths to keep crossing in life so that you have opportunities to connect with one another. For example, it's not a sign that God wants you with someone if you just keep seeing someone at church. But if you both are talking every week at church, if you both are now in the same small group, if you are both now serving with each other in the same ministry, or if you both keep gravitating towards one another at every group event, these are good signs you two are headed towards a dating relationship. Song of Solomon 2 verse 7 states, I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or the does of the field, that you not stir up or awaken love until it pleases. God will often show you that the time is right to date after you have had a healthy amount of opportunities to get to know one another first. Number two, if you and this person are encouraging one another and strengthening each other when you are together, this is a sign God is highlighting this person in your life. Relationships are interesting because anytime you put two people together, you always get a unique mixture. You and person A will create a very different result than you and person B. When God is highlighting someone that he wants you to date, he will do this by showing you the good that you and this person produce when you two are together. As Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 through 12 states, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm, and how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. This doesn't always happen when just any two people are spending time together. But when God is highlighting someone he does want you to be with in a more significant way, you will know by the strength you both receive by being together. Number three. When God is highlighting someone in your life, this person will help you flee youthful passions so you can better pursue the Lord together. When God wants you to date someone and then marry that person one day, this will not be marked by a perfect relationship that has no sin. When you put two sinful people together, it is impossible for there to be no sin at all. With that said, the mark of a true Christian will be evident by the fruit of the Spirit as are mentioned in Galatians 5, 22 through 24. Likewise, the mark of a godly relationship will be the fruit of the Spirit being produced together. Notice what 2 Timothy 2, 22 states, So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. So when God is truly pointing someone out to you because he wants you two together, this relationship will help you flee worldly passions while you are pursuing godly passions together. Number four, if God is showing you someone's faithful character, this could be a sign he is highlighting this person because he wants you two together. One of the main biblical differences between marriage and any other relationship is that this bond is supposed to be for life. 
Certainly divorces happen for too many reasons to count and no one should look down on anyone else because of divorce. But we must also recognize that God desires marriage to be for life. Which is why in Mark 10, 9, Jesus said, What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. So if you want a marriage that will last a lifetime, you should plan for that future in your present by only dating someone who shows faithfulness now. Despite our best efforts and even when someone showed us they were faithful, divorces still happen in some marriages. Divorce is sometimes out of our control because of the actions of the other person. But we should do everything in our power to prevent this from happening to us by looking to date only faithful people. And number five, if God is showing you that you and this person could fulfill the biblical roles of a husband and wife together, this is a good sign God is highlighting this person to you. When you read through Bible passages like Ephesians 5, 22-33, it becomes very clear that both the wife and husband have the exact same importance in the marriage, but that both are to fulfill different roles as they seek to reflect the love relationship between Christ and His church. If someone wants you to fulfill the role of a wife even though you are a man, or if someone wants you to fulfill the role of a husband even though you are a woman, this is not a good sign. But if you see that this person values the differences between a husband and wife and desires to celebrate the compatibility God designed in marriage, this is a great sign. So God will highlight someone for you by showing you that this person will celebrate your femininity as a woman or celebrate your masculinity as a man rather than trying to make you something that you are not. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there's only one more week to enroll in AGW University. And if you enroll before the deadline of March 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm also giving you two really valuable bonuses completely free. The first bonus is my new course all about online dating. In this course, I give you really practical tips on how to get the best results possible with online dating. I'll teach you how to properly fill out your online dating profile to attract the right people and how to actually meet people face to face on real dates. The second bonus I'm giving away if you enroll before the deadline is three months of free email coaching with me. This is where you can share your personal story with me and I can give you one-on-one -on -one advice. So if you're interested in these relationship training courses, along with all the bonuses and other components I haven't even mentioned yet, feel free to click the link in the description of this video to learn more. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com. Until next time, God bless.